Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back. I tell you what, the amount of times that I have tried to film this video without getting distracted is, it's really something. So uh, my apologies for, uh, for how this video turns out. <laughs> It's later on in the day and my mind is definitely toast. Uh, Stella is home from spring break this week and so I'm taking spring break off with her this week and but it just has me all discombobulated. I don't know what it is about like my kids like vacation weeks from school but every single time it just causes my brain to be like what's going on? <laughs> anyway Bear with me, but before we get into the two candle reviews that I have prepared for you for a little bit later on in the day, um, I will list um, what videos are gonna go up in the description box down below. I wanted to do this little comparison because I actually placed an order for uh, two of these marshmallow morning candles um, because I had seen so much talk about how this was basically the same thing as my beloved sprinkled macarons. Listen, I'm not gonna call this macaroons. These are not macaroons on the label. <laughs> These are macarons. Um, I would love for Kringle to create a macaroon scent, and I'm sure then they'll call that one macaron. <laughs> just to troll me, but no, uh, they're not like that. But Kringle really does think that macaroons and macaron are interchangeable, but I stand by the opinion that they are not. <laughs> These are two very different cookies with very different scent profiles. And um, this one here I fell in love with. You guys have heard me harp on how much I love this particular reserve candle for quite some time. And of course it came into stock, right after I ordered these to tide me over because they weren't re-releasing this. And honestly, this came just in time because, uh, yeah, I am I have one more burn on this and I don't even think it's gonna be a long burn because I can see the top of the wick clips. Yes, I can. Bummer. It's fine, I have two more coming my way. <laughs> Of course I ordered more of this. Listen, this candle was a powerhouse for me and I've been dying for it to come back. So I absolutely purchased a couple more for myself. Um, I'm not gonna like not use them. So, and there, I, I do leave some room for exceptions when it comes to like backups, but like two is really the limit. Um, I shouldn't be doing more than two backups of anything. And it has to be a really special thing. And that is a special scent for me that I've just fallen in love with. No word, I know you're gonna ask. <laughs> no word yet on sweet cream or jelly donut, but since we got this one back, if you want it, it's, it's available right now. It should still be on the website when this video goes up. I'm really sorry if it's not, but I'm hoping that they poured enough to, you know, make people happy. So um, anyway, uh, check out the link to where to shop with Kringle Candle in the description box down below. If you do wanna save 15% on this one, you can apply my discount code. It's just Melanie15. I don't know if my discount code code will apply to this one because this one's currently on sale for $21 and some change. It's always worth adding that in to see if it'll save you a little bit more money, but this is a pretty good deal on its own right now. And I do have to say, if you are wanting to save some money, um, having smelled these like side by side now, I think they are quite similar. I will read through the fragrance notes with you guys. I do still think there's a little bit of nuance with the reserve fragrance and also the strength and throw on this reserve here especially is like significantly more than I would say the marshmallow morning was, um, at least when I initially had it. So that being said, I'm happy to have both and I'm certainly gonna burn through both of these like it's my job. I I could burn this particular scent year round. I think it's also a great um, fall winter scent for me too. It's one of those rare fragrances where it's just like a good year round type of scent, right? It's just delicious and warm and cozy. Um, but yeah, great performance out of this one. So I, was, I wasn't gonna pass it up just like I won't be passing up the jelly donut or the sweet cream when they do finally come back. But let me really quickly read through the fragrance notes with you um, so that we can just kind of put that part to bed here. Um, this is for the sprinkled macaroons. 
Um, the top notes are creamy pumpkin and coconut milk. Um, I've never smelled pumpkin in here. I, I don't think there's any pumpkin in here. The mid notes are sweet praline. Sorry, Alf is adjusting. He might knock the camera over. <laughs> sweet praline, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And then the base is vanilla marshmallow. Now the fragrance notes for the marshmallow morning read as follows. Creamy marshmallow and coconut milk as the top notes. The mid notes are sweet praline, nutmeg, and cinnamon, so exactly the same. And then the base is, there's just a, a small tiny detail here, vanilla, comma, marshmallow. Not vanilla marshmallow, but vanilla and marshmallow is what that comma imp implies to me on the marshmallow morning. But essentially, uh, what's what's the deal between these two i think they're extremely similar listen I, I have not had them lit up side by side but i have burned through several of these i love this scent i do think just on cold sniff alone based on this little tiny bit of wax that i have left here in the bottom and this new one i think this little tiny bit of wax is even more potent than this one is but I got a good performance out of this one. It's not like it was bad, and I can certainly amp it up even more by putting it in a candle sleeve or by putting it in a hurricane, but this one does fine on its own. So I would say if you if you don't wanna mess with the reserve line, um, this is gonna be a great alternative for you that's gonna give you almost the exact same experience as the sprinkled uh, macarons candle but I'm definitely happy to have more of this just because the strength and throw of this one is so incredibly good. This one, I'm telling you, it can almost fill the downstairs of the house, whereas this, not quite. So that being said, happy to have both. We'll certainly utilize both of these. And I'm just happy, you know, that there is, that there really is a great alternative for the sprinkled macarons because who knows, it could sell out tomorrow, it could sell out by this weekend, and then it may not come back again for, I, I don't know, forever. <laughs> it, could be, it could be two months from now, it could be back this fall. Um, Kringle, I will say, I, I think that they do need to get better about restocking candles that um, people have kind of gotten used to them restocking. And while I think the reserve line may have initially been launched as like a one-off type of situation, I think so many of the scents have been so popular that um, a lot of us just want them to like bring them back, right? And I do think initially also that line did launch for more maybe conceptual, maybe slightly more complex types of fragrances. And um, it, you know, these these kind of, I guess you could say more simple gourmands weren't really necessarily the idea for that line, but they're there now and many of us love them. So I just really hope that we can keep getting more of these, especially the popular gourmands that people are just peening over. Like I cannot tell you how many messages I get in a given week asking me like, where is Jelly Donut? where is sweet cream where is sprinkled macarons like when are we going to get more of these and while i wish i could just be like oh yeah it'll be next tuesday um i don't know i've, I've never really gotten an answer from kringle as to specifics as to when they will be back in stock on the website it's just a game of like checking the website and then um hopefully getting your order in in time which is my least favorite way to shop. Like it does feel very Hunger Games. And because of that, sometimes I just sit certain releases out with Kringle, even myself, because it just feels too stressful or I'm just not willing to get up at like five or six in the morning. I mean, I get up pretty early every day anyway, but like those few extra moments of sleep are precious for me. And um, I'm not someone who, you know, even though I work from home, I can't, I, I don't feel like I can take naps during the middle of the day. It's just not who I am. So, um, you know, I just, I get tired when I don't have those extra five minutes. <laughs> I need every ounce of sleep. So that being said, if you are interested in a more budget-friendly version of sprinkled macarons, get you some Marshmallow Morning. It's currently on sale for, I think it was $21.70. Really good deal, so check that out. Anyway, if you have both, let me know your thoughts in the, uh, in the comments down below. I'll put a link to where to shop with Kringle Candle as well as my affiliate discount code. 
um, in the description box down below. Feel free to use that if you are interested. And I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you stay tuned for those candle reviews that are going up a little bit later on today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.